Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I got a yeah, Canon uh, zoom lens EFS 18 to 135 millimeter uh, 3.5 to 5.6 with the IS um, image stabilizing and it actually has some focus issue. So I got the lens for free and uh, actually it could be interesting to see what I can do about it and maybe get a lens for my Canon 500D and uh, yeah it has a problem uh, so if we connect it to this camera here and see what's happened turn it on and set this oh there was something that sounds not good in sight and the lens is actually working kind of but um, if I set it to if I take off the lens <coughs> so we could see what was actually the plot problem I can move it and if I zoom out to 18 it has some kind of noisy and there is something inside that actually and the front is actually a bit loose in my opinion um, so let's take a look inside and see what uh, can be done with this lens I proper I do not have in been into the lens before and I do not have a repair manual for this so uh, I will just jump into it um, and see if there is any thing to do about it I've just taken off the rubber and have a sneak peek but that's the only thing so I have no idea what's <laughs> actually uh, happen in here oh, gosh that was not good <laughs> of course I should use the other pin the other leg so all for the rubber now there is a pin here that seems something is a bit loose in my opinion but what about this screw is actually tight so I will guess uh, that I should jump in from the back from the mount here um, and for that I will use my uh, dentist tool here and simply dig under it uh, and see if I can S gently so and then one can actually lift up oh sh it should be possible no so it comes free and maybe we'll have it open in a second see there are some plastic pins here that is actually press in on the inside of the uh, mount and hold it in place so now and then we look into the circuit board in here <coughs> and I will need to take off the uh, contact bridge here and for that I will use a JIS uh, two millimeter this is a moody tool and no I'm not sponsored by any company everything I do on my channel is uh, paid by myself so that there is no sponsor or whatever at the moment <laughs> maybe one day I don't know but for now I only pay for my own thing so now uh, 
the contact bridge is uh, free here. And I can use my uh, modified uh, JI, <laughs> no, my modified uh, PH00 uh, from Vera, which I like because it's had a short, um, yeah, not like as this one, it's really long, but I prefer because it handle it better. Now, this is a modified by filing the very pointy tip and it acts well, it not it will not ever be a JIS screwdriver, but it works really good, in my opinion. So and all the screws loose. Remember where the uh, white dot here is connected? I mean, close to the. The locking notch here, just so you know where things should sit. Okay, there was one that comes free. It will be interesting to see if it uh, actually can come back to life, and then I have a really cheap. Uh, zoom lens. Now take care of the flex here by push it out and then take out the mount. It looks like this. Now here we look into the uh, circuit board and uh, we will also need to take off this uh, ring here with the uh, AF18 to 135 and there's two switches also. So I will just use a um, rubberized tweezer. You can maybe get them in some shops who sell uh, stamps for collectors or so. But with the sticky end here it's actually quite easy to gently draw in the flex cable and in that way not uh, destroy it. And I will also take the other. Uh, is it necessary? No, it's not really. Okay. So I can just lift it off. And so this is how it looks. And now <clears throat> we are closer into something that hmm, it looks like something is Oh, gosh, loose in a way. I mean, maybe it should sit with some screws. Hmm. Well, I can just draw this off gently and hopefully, I don't know yet, but uh, it seems like this can come loose in a way. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so one can just take it out. Wow, the whole focus assembly, I mean, focus motor, uh, wow, okay, well, if I shake it, it, uh, it well, it has a kind of a noisy, uh, so I would think maybe if I take out this screw and hopefully you can get the, the zoom ring out. So maybe it's uh, possible. Yeah, okay. Something can move, but uh, is it possible to lose it? To yeah, something happened. Okay. Well, <laughs> and then we see a screw up here. Uh, where does it 
belongs to? I have no idea yet. But, uh, huh? Maybe we can see in here. Right down here. And it actually hold this contact brush in place. So, um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just put it in and see if something is uh, possible to come back to work. But for that, I will also use some uh, Loctite 243. And uh, actually get the, uh, let's see if we can do here, just used my start screen here. And hopefully use some, just a little amount of this. And um, actually add the screw in here so there hmm. just add a tiny amount and then okay yeah. And I will also take the other out and give it some if it's actually possible. So and give it some do not do uh, do not add any um thread lock on the end of the screw it, it has to sit on the side of the screw in my opinion it would work better and just a slightly amount will do the work I guess so so maybe it's easier with taking the longer screw hmm <clears throat> Simply put it in. So. And tighten it gently. So. And. Oh. Bah. Okay. I can see the brush itself. Is set. Sit out of uh, alignment. So I need to push it into correct. So, and I would think it, nah, it's a bit loose. Okay. Hmm. What had happened to this lens? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, can just move it a little, slightly. So, and nah. So There, I think it will do the work. Probably move it a little. Yeah, it looks fine. And uh, how does it? So the focusing is also fine. But maybe it needs some uh, just 
tighten some of the screws. Yeah, I think it will be fine. So maybe the other, the zoom brush, this will be the, the actual focusing brush, which actually, it looks like it, it's okay. Um, so what about the other, that's the zoom section, as you can see, the zoom brush, it moves all the way and it seems to be okay. So I would guess, without knowing it of course, that uh, this lens can come back to life, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem that it's uh, not a big problem here. Is there any loose screws? Sometimes there are. Hmm. Well, it's difficult to get into all the screws without fully disassemble it. So it's not the point here. I will just see if the uh, focusing system <coughs> will uh, would actually work. We'll simply put this uh, the focusing motor assembly uh, put it back in again, and it looks like it's hold in place by the. There. Okay, we need to take that out again and put on the the uh, zoom ring and actually get the zoom ring to align here with the notch here and simply put it on slightly out of alignment. Uh, because I think those, uh, this one here has to, it's uh, here with the notch and it has to go over here. If I think it should, uh, yeah, so one can actually uh, pull the front lens a bit out. So the gap here is actually free and then put on the uh, zoom ring and hopefully put it on, correct. So here we are and hopefully find the, where should it be? Oh yeah, so the one have to turn it into place and then there, there it is. And I will just give the screw a little lock tight here and see how it will work. So, now, oh, it's actually much, much better. There's still something that is, I mean, so there's a lot of plastic in this lens. We hope it will work and it seems much better here. So now put in the, um, the uh, 
the focus motor assembly. Put it on here. In my opinion, there should be some screws here. But there is no thread in this. So this just has to sit in here and sit just like that. Then I can um, add the flex cable here. And gently put it in. It's really a good thing, this uh, plastic. <coughs> Tweezer, rubber end thingy. And then put on the um, the uh, contact ring here. Looks like things should be okay. This one can only sit in one position. So it's actually press on the uh, on the focus assembly motor. I mean, it looks like. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, let's see. It can go. So. And now it should be fine, and then I can add the uh, flex cable into the connector. So there. So, fine. And let's just see what's actually going on when I put the mount on. The little notch here has to go where the white dot is so we simply put on the the mount and the four screws interesting to see if it will work <laughs> Or maybe there are other issues. I don't know yet. But um, so and now the two small screws that uh, actually hold the um, the contact bridge here. Take care because the flex cable is actually very fragile, uh, especially the soldering down there, and it can break easily. It's not uh, it's not the best way of connecting because it's very stiff flex cable. I think it would be better if it was a bit, uh, well, say, uh, softer. So let's see if I put it on here and uh, see if it will work. Hmm. Well, wow. It has some issue. So on 50 or 80, okay. Yeah, it's actually working as it should. And now the uh, focusing is actually all the way to from near end, no matter how I actually hold the the um, the lens. So if I before it was actually locked into to somewhere, but now it's actually much better. And the front is well, is plastic and it's a bit uh, wiggle, but it seems to be fine. 
So I will just assemble it again and say hello lens. Take care of the plastic here. It breaks quite easy when you put it in. So do not press like this, but more in a way like this you can see here. And then you can gently press on it. So and click it into place. So uh, now I actually have a, a lens that works. Wow. Normally I shoot Nikon, but uh, it doesn't really matter what camera. So this is a free lens for me. <laughs> so, so now it uh, it's back to life. So hope you enjoy the content here and can maybe fix your lens if it's uh, stuck in a way just like this lens. So that's all for me. So, bye bye.